Good morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever and whenever you are. My name is Benjamin, and welcome to a Let's Play video of the game that I just released on Steam and itch.io, End Hall. End Hall is a bite-sized roguelike. It's very position-based and uh, turn-based. I'm going to just kind of play it here in this video. And... Uh, let you guys kind of see what it's like so you have a good idea of what it's going to be like. The game is short. I designed it to be a short experience. It's different every time you play it, so there's not one single solution. Um, make sure my sound volume is good. We can adjust it while we're playing if we need to. Oh, let's skip the story. Okay, so in End Hall, um, there's a board here. There are enemies on the board that you need to eliminate in order to progress to the next level until you can get to the final level and beat the boss. And like I said, every run is slightly different. So currently we've got this enemy here. He can move uh, three spaces and deal one damage and um, I can move over, I'm using the quick, the number keys to, as hotkeys for these. Deal three damage to him using my melee action, and then I'm going to jump up here um, to put this wall between me and the enemy. And he tried to attack the wall to get to me, but... It's too late, we can jump over this gap and kill the enemy there. So I think it's good to point out um, the soundtrack was written by my brother and I'll be uploading a video a little bit later that just is the digital OST for the game so if you just want to go listen to that and there'll be a link to buy the album as well. So. We get to choose a new action at this point. And... Hmm. Let's see. I think we're going to take... We need damage. So I think we're going to take this one because it ups our damage quite a bit. Let's uh, alter the music just a tad. There we go. Okay, so we can easily get... Okay, so this should be pretty easy, actually. Um, because this only has three health, we can kill it with the melee action. And then we can move this enemy onto this landmine using a control action. And then our fire action can reach that enemy for the last two damage. Let's grab the teleport action here. It's a really good one. Hmm, this one's easy too, because we can teleport here, which leaves a mine there. We can control the bomb and move it onto this mine, which will explode and kill all of the enemies. And I think the stunning kick is going to be the one to grab here. Three, so we can, we'll move this turret up here. This turret attacks um, all around it. And then we can uh, move over here and kill this enemy. Well, damage it, but then the turret should finish it off. There we go. Okay, my external hard drive disconnected and reconnected. Finish up that level. We'll take the flame action now for the AOE. Um, we can't reach this bomb. But it would be really nice if we could. 
Well, I could teleport here. Let's see. So I could move here. I have an idea. So let's move here. Oh, but then we'd take damage from the bomb too. No, we wouldn't. Okay. So I can move to this position and teleport here. That takes two of my CPUs. Um, but now I've got this kind of these mines here. So if this enemy, well, if any enemy tries to come over and hit me, they've got to go through two mines first. Then we can detonate the bomb and uh, actually move this guy down onto the mine and then we can jump back over this gap with our jump action. And that's why I moved forward once and put the mine there so that I could prevent taking damage from that enemy. Yeah, so this enemy swaps places with an enemy on the board and then moves. Um, it's actually one of the scariest... It's kind of a hard enemy to deal with. So, End Hall was made using the Godot engine. Um, let's grab the small move. Um, I used Godot the 2 actually, which is pretty old at this point and uh, wouldn't actually recommend using it. Use the newer versions. Um, well, that's not exactly true. For most cases, you'll just want to use the newer version. There are some cases where the where two would actually be ideal. Um, let's see. If we can detonate that bomb, that's going to do a lot for us here. I could jump over this enemy, detonate the bomb, and then maybe jump back. Okay. Oh, but I used I used teleport instead of jump, so now there's a mine in the way. Um, great. Okay, so I'd rather take damage from this than from that. But I don't know if I have a choice. I don't think I do have a choice because I accidentally used teleport instead of jump. That was silly. So, if I have to take damage, let's just take damage from only one of them. We'll kill that. Oh, actually, I don't have to take damage because I can move this onto the mine after killing and then this doesn't have a guy to swap with. And then this is... We'll shove him onto the mine. Okay. Um, let's grab the dash action just because it's... Well, they're all good. I think the frost burst action is going to be the most useful. And here we go. This is... It has a, it has a big range. And it can kind of shove enemies around, so... That's useful. Um, actually, we'll move that up and then hit it with this. And then I can kill that. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I can kill that. How far can this move? So let's hop right up here and kill this enemy and then um, I can't actually kill this because well I could if I if I hit this it will push me over to here and then I'll be in the range of that guy so I just I'm just not gonna kill it this turn He's got to go through two sets of mines first, and then this is... So this this 
can enter it, it targets your current location on one turn, and then on the next turn it hits that location for two damage. Um, let's grab the dash action, just because I want to show you guys what it does. Um, we haven't seen my favorite action yet, so hopefully we get to see that. Hmm. Really like to shove that over by one space. One, two, three. So I could. I'd like to get that here. Um, I can't reach it right now. If I do this, I can reach it. To move it down. Then I could... Well, that's gonna have to be good enough, I think. I could hit that, but I don't need to. The bomb's gonna kill it. But the bomb won't kill that guy. I could hit him that would be nice um I can't stay here because this is gonna hit me I could move up and then I could hit this and push the bomb over one what does that do for me um slows that so it goes at the end of the turn which might be good but I need to detonate this bomb and maybe I don't have a way now well I do if I get hit by it that seems like it's risky I'll probably die this is slowed now Let's hit this guy over, and then we'll drop a mine right here to kind of protect us a bit. This turret and this mine are going to help protect us a bit. That bomb's not going to go off yet, unfortunately, but there I don't think anybody... Oh, I forgot about the swap guy. Okay. Okay, that's pretty good. So let's move, uh, let's see. Let's move over using this. Cause that's a free move. And then we'll hit, we'll detonate the bomb. Oh, I forgot it pushes enemies away though. <laughs> the skill I used. So I just saved it from the bomb. Okay. Um. But we can move this guy up and then use the flame action, which will push us back outside of this guy's range. In theory, we should be safe this turn. Okay. Okay, can use this action, shove that back a little bit, get this down to three, and do that. And we're going to take damage here, aren't we? That's okay, these only deal one damage. Oh, but it's slowed. This guy might swap with it, and they do, they do more than one damage. But it's a might. I think I'm just going to risk it. Because I could... There we go. Yeah, that was the right choice. Because I could have gotten rid of that, but it would have cost two energy to get rid of it. Um, so I only took one energy because I took the risk. Now this is... this. The rest of this is easy. 
Let's see, what do we get here? No chain action. I needed to rig it so we could get my favorite action. Well, we're going to get double teleport because it's really good. Well, we could kill that, so maybe we just kill this. Because it's free this turn. And see, kind of see what happens here. So one of the design decisions that I made in this game was to make it so every single turn you lose energy. And I did that to help prevent camping. Um, and you still want to camp a little bit, but you have to be just aggressive enough to... You still have to be... You have to be aggressive enough to regain your energy by killing enemies. And... Oh, well, this looks good. Can detonate... Oh, I keep forgetting it pushes them away. <laughs> oh... That's what I want though. I want skills that surprise you. Okay, what do I do now? I need to kill that. Too dangerous. Um, and then let's... We could kill this. But it doesn't actually benefit us any. I think it's more beneficial to just plant a mine right there. Um, that was unfortunate. They've got kind of walled off from the turrets there. Let's two, two, and three. Let's get rid of that. Then use this. I'll get rid of all three of them. Um, jump here. I should be able to hit this. Okay, final level, folks. And we got the shock chain. What good timing. This is one of my favorite skills. Okay, so we need to get close to the boss. And hit it with that action. That'll burn it, so it'll take... Well, it would take one damage, but it generates a shield um, to protect itself. So then... Okay, so this is a good place to use this shock chain. So. The shock chain deals one damage to a space one to two spaces away and chains recursively through any nearby units. So if I hit this space right here, it will chain up here through me and to the boss. And because these will be destroyed before the chain reaches the boss, the shield won't work. So we can deal some damage there. Then we're targeted here, but this action will deal two damage to the boss, but it'll also move us back a space so we're no longer targeted. Of course, it doesn't really matter because I can kill that. So, so we've been able to deal some damage to the boss. Okay. And now uh, we're in a tougher spot. Let's see if we can put this to good work. Use the chain reaction to get rid of that. It's such a good skill. Um, we 
can teleport to here, hit this, and then we can use this action, hit the boss for two. Oh, dang it, I forgot this will hit us. Um, the boss deals two damage, so I'd rather get hit by the boss. Although moving then deals one damage to me, so it basically... I'm gonna take the same amount of damage no matter what. And of course the boss shields before my turret gets to him. Okay. I thought I was so clever to use this turret to hit the boss. Um, we gotta get rid of these. So let's hit this one. Move back, hit this one. Now we can't reach the boss at this point, um, so let's move here. Dropping a few mines is actually good because then when the boss generates enemies, um, sometimes they land on the mines. Oh man, that was unfortunate. Generated a bomb right next to the turret, which then blew me up. Okay, let's drop down here. We'll use this bomb to get rid of those two enemies. And then we'll hit the boss. And hit the boss again. And hit the boss again. And end our turn. Okay. Move. Let's see. We're just going to end up getting rid of all the shields this turn. Not even all of them. No, we can get rid of all of them. I just have to take I just have to take a percent for it, a damage. Oh, that was <laughs> I got to be careful of that. He can spawn he can generate those bombs right on top of mines and then kill me. Ah, but we're the boss is a goner here. Use this still. There we go. And then I can teleport to here. Hit both those. Hmm, that one must have landed on a mine. It's gonna swap with the bomb, which should be fine. That's okay. Hmm, moved right onto the mine. And detonate this for the win. Skip the story again. And the credits. So you can see, it's a short game. Bite-sized roguelike. It's a little bit different every time you play it. Different solutions, different problems. And uh, it's on Steam and itch.io. And I'm... I am pretty happy with how the game turned out. I, I'm proud of it being my first game my first steam release and i hope you guys will go check it out on steam and give it a try and i will talk to you all later